New Super Chick Sisters. Do I need to say anything else? Now, for those who remember my videos from my original count about the original Super Chick Sisters game, it's a piece of shit. And it was made by PETA. But then again, anything made by PETA is guaranteed to suck. Now then. Here I am, minding my own business, having a great day. And then I get a personal message, several in fact. Hey Al, did you know that Super Chick Sisters has a sequel now? My jaw dropped to the floor. I couldn't fucking believe it. So here I am, about to play this fucking game. Which will probably just be just as shitty as the other one, if not shittier. But before I play Super Chick Sisters 2 for your enjoyment and my suffering, there is something that I want to address. Apparently, there is a guy who was upset because Taylor Swift closed down her Twitter account. And because of this, he is threatening to kill his cat unless she opens it back up. Now, here's a message to PETA. PETA, we all know that you only go after cruelty cases if they are guaranteed to give you the spotlight. If Michael Vick wasn't the guy who tortured those dogs and it was just some normal guy, you wouldn't give a shit. You wouldn't. So, PETA, Here's your chance. Here is your chance to prove to the world that you're not completely fucking useless. And I'm going to make a deal with you. I will make a deal with you, PETA. If you do anything, anything, to involve yourself into this case, this obvious, horrible, animal cruelty case of a man threatening to kill his cat unless Taylor Swift reopens her Twitter account. If you do anything to involve yourself into this and try to stop it, I will shave my head bald. That's my deal to you. If you do anything, even the simplest little thing, to get yourself involved with this case, because as of right now, your name isn't anywhere near this case, so obviously you don't give a shit. Which is weird because... You always make a stance about, Oh, animals are sacred. They need to have rights. Yeah, only the fucking animals that give you the fucking spotlight. But if you do anything, and I mean anything, even if it's just a simple little clip in the headlines, you know, PETA says no to man about to kill cat, I will shave my head. And people who know me, well, no, that I fucking hate to be bald. I, I have never been bald in my life. The only time that I've ever been bald is when I was a newborn. I don't want to have bald. I don't want to be bald, I mean. I don't want to be bald. But if PETA does this, I will shave my head. But if you don't do anything, PETA, it just proves that you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. It just proves that you only give a shit about the things that'll give you the most publicity. And you will be shunned and you will be hated once more. But that being said, let's get to the game. <laughs> okay, let's get this shit fest started. I love how it's in all these different uh, languages, you know, as if people in other countries would want to play this shit. Okay, but of course we're going to start with English. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. New Super Chick Sisters. You know, they should have just fucking called this Copyright Infringement 2 Electric Boogaloo, but whatever. Oh fuck. Pamela Anderson again? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. This time, it's Ronald McDonald. That's right. They're going after McDonald's now. You know, as if they have nothing better to do. It's like they went to a meeting one day and said, Hey, hey guys, we need a fast food corporation that we can spread lies and rumors about. And they bring out a hat, and they pull the names out of the hat, and McDonald's just happened to be the one. Oh, shit, I fucking love this. Okay, Princess Pamela Anderson, once again, Pamela Anderson, you know, God, it has been captured by the evil Ronald McDonald. 
who plans on making her a part of his unhappy meals, along with the chickens who are tortured for M McDonald's restaurants. Help free Princess Pam and save the chickens from McDonald's cruelty. It's always fucking chickens. What? Not about the cows. It's always the fucking chickens. And how could you not like Ronald McDonald? I mean, he... F f run, run, roo! Okay, that, okay, that's actually fucking creepy. But, but anyway, the... Start kid-friendly game? What the hell is this? Uh, I guess I'll just start the regular game. Apparently, uh, start game is rated mature and and start kid-friendly game. Okay. And, and of course, once again, you get the choice to play Pamela Anderson. I'm gonna play Nugget. Nugget. Alright, what do we got here? I'd like to thank all of you for being here for the opening of my new vegetarian restaurant, Double Delicious. Finally, I found the perfect toy for my next unhappy meal. I must have Princess Pam. Please help me! My voice gives me super strength. Looks like we gotta save the princess once again, Chiquette. And you gotta help us! Oh fuck, not this again! <laughs> If only, I, if only I had to be busy playing soccer, practicing baseball, preparing for the Olympics, making sequels, and grooming my manly mustache. <laughs> I hope I'm not too right. And that Miyamoto doesn't call it with another game. <laughs> mustache right. Oh yeah, that that's not sexual at all. Alright, now, it's the same shit. Arrows move you, space jumps. Alright, let's see. Hey, Nugget! Did you know that McDonald's is one of the biggest sellers of chicken flesh? Oh, you crazy kids on your card games. <laughs> okay, apparently, um, the evil can, uh, the evil Colonel Sanders bots have been replaced by man-eating, uh, hamburgers. Oh, God, I I'm fucking loving this shit. I heard that if you stop on your enemies, you'll get more points. Oh, oh, of course, she has a new move. It's called the Stomp. That That's not ripping anything off. Pushing down while you're in the air to jump on people. That That's not ripping anything off at all. And once again, they're, they're not even trying to fucking hide anything. I still don't know what that block is. I still don't know what the fuck that thing is. Okay. I, I guess you can call this a Let's Play from Hell. Because I, I am playing a hellish game. Okay. Chickens who are killed by McDonald's suppliers will have your throats cut while they are still conscious. Let's see. Oh, of course. I have, I didn't notice this before, but they have mustaches now. I, I don't know why. Alright. I, I don't know if it's just me, but it just seems to be lagging. There is a less cruel slaughter method that would eliminate these abuses, and it is available today. Hey, remember in the last one where they didn't want to kill the chickens at all? It, now, now they just, they want they they don't care about the chickens being killed. They just wanted to kill be killed in a more humane way. W what the fuck ever? They're going to die anyway. What's the fucking deal? All right. I, I will admit the music's nice to listen to. Okay, here we go. I honestly haven't done a video like this in a while, so... Forgive me if it's long, boring, and tedious. Th this is the first time I'm playing it, so I'm playing it blind. I'm, I'm doing like a blind LP. Save the princess! Save the chickens! 